I have more than a suspicion. I have evidence that the blood on Dame Catiline's paws had nothing to do with the murder. This is foolish waste time wasting of Falcon. You look more like an eagle to me, but... Oh, thank you. <clears throat> if the blood on Dame Catiline's paws didn't come from the victim, then where did the blood come from? You look like a, uh, Winnie the Pooh's friend. Uh, let's see. Eagle vs. Donner. Red hair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dame Catiline ate a bloody rare steak at the banquet. On, On the, the evening of the murder, Dame Cataline ate a bloody rare steak. With enthusiasm. Because <laughs> everything has blood, you freaking moron! Is this true, Monsieur Rabbington? Uh, well, I am, in a manner of uh, speaking, I suppose steak may have been on the uh, menu. Boom! I told you we got this. Then, Inspector... You, would you acknowledge the possibility that the blood on the lady's paws did not belong to the victim, but to the stake? It is good to know that this game is going to give us clues as to what we should be talking about. Well, uh... Wait! Don't... Don't uh, answer that, Inspector! <clears throat> oh, objection! You it, can't tell him not to answer that! It is a possibility! No! Uh-oh! Hmm, intriguing. Quiet down! <laughs> you, I won't have you acting up in my jury box! You finally got to voice him, he said something and you just ignored it. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah, one said intriguing and one said... So well, well, I can't watch the screen with all of you people mouthing off incessantly. It's ridiculous and you all should be flogged. <laughs> flogged! Publicly! <laughs> You gained a little favor with the jury after telling them that they should all be flogged for... Hey, so Inspector uh, Voltron, is it possible that you arrested an innocent bystander simply for being a messy eater because you're an incompetent bastard? Voltron? I fucking love that name! Now hold on just a... <laughs> now hold on just a... Now hold on just a minute, one minute, Falcon. You are overlooking something quite crucial. Dame Catiline is an elegant bourgeois kitten. She was no doubt brought up with a flawless etiquette and um, perfect table manners. Are you sure about that? At the banquet, she would have eaten the steak with a fork in her left hand and a knife in her right like a pro any proper civilized animal. How could she have possibly gotten blood on her paws with such good manners? Oh, that's a good question. Or at least it would be at any ordinary dinner banquet, but you've never met Stickman. As it happens, something was missing from that particular banquet that forced her to eat with her paws. That's right! <clears throat> uh, and that would be silverware, you son of a bitch! Sorry, antelope. Dame Caterline was forced to eat steak with her paws because... The next line... The silverware of the household had been previously stolen. Hopefully we don't give out the name. Stolen? I don't recall any mention of that in the police report. We weren't aware of anything missing from the Rouge Ale residence when we performed the initial investigation. But as it happened, Baron Wajou approached us about this very subject last night. <laughs> and so you didn't look into it. You're incompetent. You're an incompetent doofus, like I've been saying. You got me all choked up over it. And you're messing with my prosecution. <laughs> mm, innocent, perhaps. What the Quiet is down! I've told you before, shut your mouth. You're a jury, not a squawk box. Floggings will commence at three! <laughs> you gained a little favor with the jury. What is the meaning of all this? Bloody steak? A defense, Your Honor! It's the defense! Misplaced silverware? Inspector, was your investigation so lax that you overlooked these basic facts in your initial report? Lawyerin. Lax! My investigation? Judge, I assure you I am the most thorough investigative officer on the force. Then your force sucks! That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Then it is amazing that the Parisian police managed to solve any crimes at all. Especially with me around. I'm the amazing lawyer. Heh. <laughs> oh dear. Be on your way, Inspector. 
Perhaps do a little inspecting for your next case. Yeah, Peter Rabbit, go get Winnie the Pooh some honey. Mm, I'm gonna go commit a murder and cover that up. Fine, so be it. Mess yours until next time. Yep, yeah, bye-bye, hop along, Voltron. Prosecutor, I trust your next witness is ready. Oh, they got more? Y yes, of course, Your Honor. I call upon, um... Let's see, Monsieur Robito Robinho, the uh, photographer who attended oh. the banquet on the night of the oh, murder. Oh, maybe don't call him. And whose house was recently broken into by That's... weasels. No, yeah, by <laughs> little rascals. We were dead. We're not going <laughs> Monsieur Robito Robinho, please approach the stand and recite the oath. Objection. How does it go? I swear to speak this without hatred. doesn't matter. And without fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a little cliche, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we think so, too. Could the uh, witness please introduce himself for the, the, the court record? <laughs> As if anybody in this courtroom does not immediately recognize me. I am the great Monsieur Rabito Rabinho. Entrance music, please. Cutting edge photographer and visionary. You got a weak door. I don't just take. <laughs> I don't. I don't just take the people's pictures. I capture the very essence. Je suis l'artiste. Tu es un pie. The fuck does that mean? Permission to treat this witness as a hostile witness. He's obviously on drugs, Your Honor. You may have seen my works in hip magazines, Le Branche, or Say Short I can see your tweets if you like. I can send you tweets if you like. All right, all right. Say Short Uh, what on earth is a tweet? Bird to bird communication. Come on, Falcon. It's the 19th century. Get with the times already. Right. Yep. Yes, yes, your works are very um, impressive, Monsieur Rabinho. But let's get down to business of murder. Could you tell us uh, your uh, activities were on the night of the murder? Very well. I was hired by Ben Rugel to capture the evening's events. I arrived at 7 in the evening. I pointed my camera and captured the beauty of the banquet in one fantastic photograph. Then I built Ben Rougel and left to a broken door in my house. Like a true artist. And, uh, with regards to the photograph itself, who did you photograph? I thought you might ask. I brought a copy so you could all see for yourself. Didn't we already steal the copy? Oh, very good. Let's take a closer uh, look then. No. This isn't the photograph that we took. We didn't take anything. Right. Th that we, <laughs> I don't know what that you're talking That we liberated from those what you're weasels. No, I don't know what you're talking about. The photograph that we liberated from those Did weasels. Did they make off with the picture? I didn't think No, because they... cause we chased them down and took the photograph from them. And we forgot to get it back? Well, oh. we had a trial to get to. We figured we'd see Rabinho there. But in the other photo, it's, it's Dame Caroline who's supposed to be here. My word! This is an exquisite picture, isn't it? So let's see, who do we have? Hmm, in the middle, we see, uh, Baron Rougel, the lion who hosted the event and certainly didn't murder anybody and blame it on his daughter. Nope, stick man is innocent. On Ish. the left, we see, um, Signor Pertois de Miao, the father of the defendant and one who has too many puns in his goddamn name. Dame Catalyne. Per toi, damn you. And finally, we see the, uh, the housemaid, Colleen Duhout, who I suspect may have snuck into the picture uninvited. Do. As you can Do. see, ha. two people are clearly absent Do. from the photograph. Ha, no. The first is a victim, Monsieur Grenouille. The second is the defendant, Dame Catalyne de Miao. Quite suspicious, wouldn't you agree? What, Alex that there were people at a dinner party? Alex Jones said it was quite suspicious. Just a moment. Uh, Rabbi Hops, this proves <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Rabbi Hops. The bunny, he hops. <coughs> so the defendant and the victim were not photographed with the others. I mean, that doesn't mean 
they were in the garden together at that point. What if they were just dropping a deuce? Hold your horses, Falcon. I'm not done yet. I'm about to prove something that you're going to use against me once you show me evidence that you acquired. All right, do something. <clears throat> the prosecution may continue. Behind the photograph subjects, we see a wall clock. The with clock's the, broken, you dumbass. With the, even after months of play, since we've played this, you and I both remember instantly, Yeah, that fucking clock was broken, you bitch. Probably on purpose. Now, why is the time significant? Well, as Inspector Valerity told us earlier, what was the exact time the murder took uh, the place? The clock is broken. <clears throat> Moron. Do you see, Fa Do you see? Do yeah, you oh, see? Yeah, I see clearly. I see absolutely. <laughs> Every suspect has an alibi at the time of the murder, save for Dame Catalina herself. Hey Falcon, that photograph doesn't seem right. It looks different than the one we borrowed from the Rubino studio. I see it too, but we don't even need we can already disprove this. That was you, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, but, already, I had already explained but it. But Robinio's photograph shows Baron Rougeau where Dame Cataline should be standing. If we assume that only one photograph was taken, then this demonstrates that one of the photographs must have been edited in some way. And the fact that he still has a copy, and we have one, and he doesn't even know. Ba, ba, ba. You should just slam that evidence down be like, Bam! Inconsistency! This whole courtroom is out of order! Case closed! Don't need to. The clock's broken. Yeah, we can't do that. And we don't need to. Well, I suppose you could be a bit more delicate with your words. No, don't need to. No, you can't because... Our evidence was illegally obtained. If I were to present it, uh, Mr. Master Mancio Robinio <laughs> would ask how we acquired it, and the whole trial could derail because he's going to recognize that, oh, those were the guys who were outside with the door thing, with the door you smashed in, you stupid bird. Master Robinio? I thought he was a photographer, not a, a sex worker. Ah, uh, Mansiu, whatever. <sighs> Mastiu. In a worst case scenario, I could lose my legal license, and uh, we would be arrested for theft. So we're not doing that. And also, the clock's broken, so let's just go with that. Oh, we don't want that. Nope. Eat my... Nope. So I should tread lightly on this clock being broken. Can I cross-examine the wit uh, weakness? I mean, witness? <laughs> weakness of a witness. Maxine? Very well, the defense may proceed. <laughs> it's a waste <laughs> of time if you ask me. Photographs are rock-solid evidence. And broken clocks are rice twice a day. Right twice a day. 